By the end of this video, you should be able to navigate BYU's on a Masticon website. So I'm just going to show you the differences between a few of the indexes so that you can utilize them in the best way for your studies. So here in the name index, it lists every name given in the Book of Mormon. And let's go to Moroni to see what it shows about each of those names. So first it lists each of the people or places with that name. So for example, the number one is General Moroni, and it lists all of the references there that cite his name. And then below this chart, it gives the etymology, which is also the meaning of the words, and it'll cite different languages that it could potentially be connected to. It also sometimes gives this gentilic suggestion, which it doesn't mean of the Gentiles. It actually means that it, they could have been a resident of a particular place. So for this example, saying that Moroni could be a gentilic or related to the place Moron. Let's go back to the main page. So this variant index essentially shows all of the spelling discrepancies between the original manuscript, the printer's manuscript, and it might even show who the scribe was at that time. So you might have more insights into how the mistake might have happened and how it ultimately ended up how it is today. Let's go to Abinadi to see this example. So see, it looks here like Abinadi was spelled wrong two different times, but then in the 1830 edition, it was fixed to Abinadi. Others might have more interesting discussions on them. So next is this reverse alphabetic name index. So as we click here, it lists all of the names again, only it's sorted by the last letter of each of the words. Now, why might this be useful? Well, let's scroll down to the Haas. So look at this, look at all these names that end in Ha. It's just interesting to be able to outline how many there are of each of them. And in looking into each of their etymologies, you might even be able to find some connections there. If you click on one of the names, it'll take you back just like the name index. Um, it's the exact same page there. Just like this is related to the name index, this reverse variant index is the same thing as a variant index, only listed by the last letter of the name as well. And on to some of these appendices that might be a positive source for your studies. There's this name by plates, it lists all of the names and then gives the plates that they were mentioned in. So some of them are mentioned in just the small plates, some of them or in the small plates and the brass plates. It just lets you know who was writing about them and what time they could have taken place. The dictionary is an incomplete dictionary, but it can give you some insights on especially the etymological terms about like where the words came from. Fun fact, I won't open that page, but it shows some actually really interesting facts about language in the Book of Mormon. If you're a factual kind of person, you might enjoy checking out that page. And then the Hebrew transcriptions is a list of all of the names written out in Hebrew, which also might be interested in if you're into that stuff. So that right there is the Book of Mormon on the Masticon.